The ostriches are running. The Thompson's gazelles are running. I think the ostriches are causing it. They're causing chaos. They look like they're chasing everybody else around. The zebra's just standing there watching them. I think the ostriches are responsible for the loss of what was quite a sweet, tender scene. The ostriches are having a silly five. The male racing after the females. They were all sitting so sweetly a moment ago. I thought they were just going to stay that way. Where, where's everybody going? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know why that looks so comic. I've seen ostriches do this many times before. The females in particular just seem to cause trouble with each other. And then they all start running in circles and the male gets involved and he starts to try and collect them back up again. And then they all go racing off. Bounding along with those long legs. We seem to be having a big bird day. Big bird day. Here we go. So what was that all about? I'm gonna do a little dance now in proper Fantasia style. That one looks like she just got blown away in the wind. <laughs> she couldn't fold her wings up. Patty, yes. While our ostriches do their dance in the in the wind, yes, they do. Cheetah in particular are well adapted to catching ostriches. I've seen it before. And it's something that I think would be extraordinary to be able to show you. So, yes, cheetah do hunt ostriches. They're actually really the only ones that are fast enough to do so. Lions can, but they very seldom do. They'd rather invest their time and energy in something like a zebra. But an ostrich kill for a cheetah is a proper boon. It really is. There's plenty of meat on them. It's quite a thing to watch a cheetah actually manage to trip an ostrich up and to get its head down once its head's down of course then it's game over but they're not without their own weapons you can see as they walk the massive toe on the end of their foot and that essentially is equipped with a very powerful talon that could if 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 it was correctly done it could actually split the cheetah open and kill it you don't want to mess with ostriches. I've had some scary encounters with ostriches as a child. Chase tame ostriches chasing me around. They're scary. This is Scott Girl. I don't know if um, that's any reference to our Scott, but um, this is Scott Girl. You want to know if ostriches mate for life? No, not necessarily. They are once the, the male has collected and mated with females. What you'll often find is he will spend a lot of time. He, he will actually help the female with raising the chicks, but they are not necessarily. Well, they won't necessarily mate for life. It's a wolf dog. No, they weren't. I thought maybe there was a reason for the ostrich's craziness. They weren't made for life. Sometimes in a situation where the ostriches don't have any other option, they'll stay together for a number of years. They're peculiar birds. We're talking about impala rutting. The impala rut all year round here. That's why they're so big. So I've seen impala mating here at all time. Well, as long as I've been here from June until now in September. There are babies of different ages. If you look at them, there's babies of all ages scattered together. And that, I think, is essentially why they are so much larger. Because instead of... Instead of rutting at one time of year where ours get that heightened boost of testosterone, they're sort of constantly in this state of aggravation 